both those goals came at similar points in each of the halves, which maybe, you know, to me tells us we weren't as quite as sharp on the set piece as we could have been. Uh, you know, I, I think from our standpoint, I, I think when you have a short corner like that, you want to get your line pushed up and they go out again, even line get even higher. You know, in, in soccer there's an offside line and the line, it moves with the defense, it moves with the last defender. And if you look from the corner kick, we start to move up and then when the pass is again, we just don't really push to even get higher. And I think by doing that, you now that team can pressure, but also know that there's cover behind them. And that's part of the game. You'll hear those words like pressure, cover uh, all the time. And, and that's really what defending in soccer a lot of is about is closing a space in the field, having guys tuck in behind in the right spaces so that you can win the ball in good spots and go forward again. And again, in the 83rd minute, you're fatigued. That's tough to do in reality, but you really need to. And I think by us not doing that uh, with conviction, uh, that created a little more space for him to get the shot off. Credit where credit's due. You know, the kid stepped in and uh, created some space for himself and, and crushed the ball. And, you know, that's going to happen in soccer. I, I think the tough pill to swallow for us is that uh, we had an outstanding second half. Couldn't have been prouder of the guys coming out, being down, not putting their heads down, responding well, getting two goals. Uh, it wasn't like Carolina had a lot of chances uh, leading up to that shot, so it was a little bit against the run of play, which makes it even harder sometimes to, to absorb. Is this in his range? This we'll is within his range. In the dome, he it might be. He thinks midfield is within his range. <laughs> oh, well, yeah! Wow. It's a world-class individual play, you know, I mean, obviously it's set up through teamwork that we create a foul in a, in a dangerous spot. Now I'll tell you, uh, that free kick was so impressive, I and mean, he's been hitting them like that uh, this year, and he has in the past. He scored some great goals for us, and I think the impressive thing about it is not just the distance of the PK, but just the technique and the accuracy, you know, the real soccer fan. I will tell you that that is of the highest level striking of the ball that you could ever have. If you look at that strike in particular, just the way he uh, you know, got his ankle locked, got his body over the ball, and generated so much power through the technique, through the hips, kept it high enough that the wall wasn't into play and kept it low enough where it was on frame and the keeper had to make a great save, uh, you know, just a, a fun one to watch. I, I think we just, uh, you know, to acknowledge the tremendous amount of respect that we've got the type of player like him, that I feel like there's not a lot of those types of players in the world that can strike the ball the way he can, which, which puts us uh, at an advantage for set pieces uh, throughout the entire field. Well, I, you know, this, there's a human nature to this sport, and uh, certainly the players in the field are part of the human nature in terms of our, uh, you know, things we do well and things we make mistakes on, and, and that's the same thing with referees. And penalty kick calls are such a tough one, and actually in the, the game before we had uh, one for each team that both teams probably could argue that maybe were harsh calls, as I'd call them. So I, when I look at that play, I think about how it's tough maybe to call another PK after they called one. There certainly was some pushing going on. Uh, if you watch Etienne's hand as well, he might have been kind of pulling the guy's head as well with reactive to pushing. So I, I think those are so hard for a referee to call. Um, after seeing the replay, I could see it going either way. Uh, probably now looking at the circumstances of the game, it would be probably tough to call two penalty kicks within a 10 minute span. Uh, but uh, you know, those are the controversial calls in the game that make the difference sometimes.